Oh, hey, I didn't see it there. I think you were wondering how I made this beautiful Zelda pot. Well, come on, let me show you. So the first thing I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna wedge up about 12 pounds of clay, maybe 10 to 12 pounds of clay, each one of those balls is five or six pounds. And I wanna make sure that it's completely combined because any little hard spots or soft spots are gonna come out in the end and I'll be able to, it'll make a wobble in my pot. This is all recycled clay. So all the good stuff right out of the bag I use for mugs and things that pay the bills. And when I have enough leftover recycled clay, I make it into big stuff. So I kind of reward myself for making all that clay. So here's five pounds. I'm gonna go ahead and center it real quick. Um, push on the top and I push on the side and then my leg is up against the wall. I learned that trick from a guy named Vaughn up in Canada on YouTube. And it just kind of centers the clay nicely. And uh, once I have that one good, I will add my second ball, which is also nicely well wedged. Another five or six pounds. We're looking about 10 to 12 pounds on this guy. Now that everything's all centered up, we are going to dig in and with everything when you're using a big piece of clay, you're, everything takes a little longer and you gotta go a little slower. Um, well, I do anyway, I know there's guys that do it really fast, but this is how I go in with two middle fingers, um, pushing down and I'm gonna open it up all the way to the bottom. I'm gonna leave a hole at this one one so that if it does uh, collect water it doesn't collect water yes so uh yeah i open it up to the bottom and then once i feel that i come up about half an inch maybe a little bit less than half an inch and i just push that over to the side so what i'm doing is i'm i'm making like a hollowed out cavity in there which i'll then pull out and make more like a cylinder I guess So here I am starting my per first, I wouldn't really even call it a pull. I'm just compressing the clay, trying to move some of the clay from the bottom up to the top part of the, of the pot so it can have something to pull off of. And it always gets a lot of trash clay off the bottom as it does that as well. So I'm just pulling that up. This is my first, I guess, real pull. And I'm just uh, slowly getting this massive amount of clay from the bottom of the pot up to a cylinder. So the next few pulls, usually on a mug, I can do this in about one or two pulls. Uh, everything with 12 pounds is going to take a lot longer. So this is going to take probably about five or six pulls, maybe up to 
seven or eight pulls just to get uh, all the clay moved up from the bottom of the pot to the top. Um, I will also kind of compress the bottom and, and be narrowing it in at the same time just to keep it from flaring out. I want a nice kind of tight cylinder and then I'll bowl out the, uh, the base of it. So there you can kind of see me moving it up. I can move about, yeah, half an inch at a time, maybe an inch at a time if I'm really doing good with the clay. Um, so. Don't worry about that wobble. We'll take care of that. Sometimes it'll even work itself out because there's just a little bit more clay on one side than the other and then you pull it up again and then it, it evens out. Uh, this one we do end up cutting that off, but it's no problem. When you're throwing big, everything looks worse. So if you're trying to make your own of these, don't worry about a little wobble at the top. We can always fix that later and nobody will ever So now I'm finally satisfied that I 
have enough of the bottom up to the top that I can make this shape. So now I'm still pulling it up, but now I'm starting to make the shape of the Zelda pot. And if you don't know what the Zelda pot is, it's this pot right here that Parker is gonna work into the, the picture, a picture in picture. I'm challenging him. And uh, you smash it on Zelda, but hopefully nobody will smash my Zelda pots because there are no rupees inside. Now I'm gonna get the rib out after I've kind of pulled it. You can see the wobble. That means that I'm probably as thin as it can get without starting to mess up. So I take my metal rib and I start pushing it out on the inside. And it still kind of brings a little bit of that clay up, but it kind of smooths it, rounds it out. And I'm pushing pretty good from the inside with my left hand. My right hand is manning the rib, which just makes everything nice and perfect. So check this out. Goes from wobble to not wobble pretty quick. This is us cutting off that wobble at the top that I was talking about earlier. So I just hold the needle steady and I let slowly push it in and then I can pull that off. And it still, you can see a little bit of the wobble now. We'll fix that. Uh, we're gonna smooth out the bottom with the sponge on a stick and get all the, the water out of there. accumulated a lot of water over the process. And that's it. I go ahead and trim the bottom a little bit with my uh, wooden rib and get rid of all the excess clay at the bottom. Uh, and then I will take care of the rim next. Let's see the wobble. It's still there a little bit after I'm done with that. It'll be pretty much go away. So I take my leather. Oh, not yet. So here I look in the mirror and I notice it's not quite as round as I would like. So I'm pushing it out with the rib from the inside and this is going to make it a little more round and it's also going to scrape off all the slip and junk from the inside. So it's nice and smooth on the inside and it dries faster, does better. Well, as you can see, I get a little bit too wobbly here and I almost lose the pot in front of y'all. But luckily, I pulled it out by slowing the wheel down big time and just kind of pushing out where I could see it coming in. And we get this thing in shape, you'll see. Now 
I'm gonna leather the rim. So this is going to kind of pull that rim into center and round off the corners, make it nice and smooth. And perfect up that rim. And this is the fi fired finished pot, the Zelda pot. smashing it but I think I'll hold on to it for now. Uh, if you liked it, please like it. If you want to, you can subscribe and that way you don't miss the next one. I'm still starting out so I probably won't pop up on your feed otherwise. Y'all have a great week.